Hello. Today's video is sponsored by Dream Games, and I have been eyeing this game for quite a while. Royal Match. I've been watching people play it, and I have finally indulged and downloaded the game, which is free to download. Anyway, I have been playing this game, and it's been the perfect relaxation game. Um, we're going to be doing a road trip as well as some other travel. And so this has been such a wonderful, relaxing way to escape. And what we're doing here, the, the goal of the game is to not only help King Robert rebuild his castles and lands, but to save him when he's in trouble. And I'm getting really invested in this king. So you can join teams, which I did. I am on Team Chicken Dance. And you can do some team play and help get extra lives and things like that. Um, there is room on this team. There's like 20 some odd openings. And I'm there under my name, Jeannie B, ASMR. And um, I'm a little competitive. So <laughs> it's... This is Palo Wallo again. So check it out. Download this game. It's really fun. No ads. And that's what I love about it. You don't have to stop and watch a 30 or 45 second or one minute ad. And this is just the perfect way to relax and zone out and have some me time. So click on the link that I'm providing and join me in playing this really fun game. It's You match three of a kind, you get all kinds of little explosive things to help you. It's a lot of fun. So thank you to Dream Games for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video and allowing us to play this really fun game together. Click on the link. Find me, join the team if there's still room, chicken dance, one word. And you and me and Paolo can play this fun game. Thanks again, Dream Games. Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Today's video is another amazing blast to the past, to my favorite decade, the 70s. Um, and as you know, it's just my favorite decade, you know, my favorite era in my life. I mean, every decade had different wonderful things, but in terms of just an era, the 70s was just so much fun. And this particular magazine, this Women's Day, Woman's Day, is different than, say, the 17 magazine that I just did. In that the 17 magazine, while it did show fashion and the colors and the styles of the 70s. The Woman's Day is really about the woman, the homemaker and career person, uh, woman. And, you know, just, it really goes into the styles of the 70s because it would be the woman outfitting the home you know, decorating, styling things. And so we can look at more of the 70s home fashions, what women were wearing. Now this is May of 1974. And I think that was really the epitome of <laughs> the fantastic styles of the 70s. The colors were all in their full bloom. The, that golden yellow, uh, what was called harvest gold, and the brown, and the avocado green, and that burnt orange. 
we had our house, uh, when I grew in that age, our walls were that avocado green. And it was the most drab, ugly color you can imagine. It looked like, I mean, like pea, like pea soup. You know, the color of pea soup. It just wasn't pretty on a wall. Not yellow pea. And, um, and then, a few years after that, my mom and dad painted, our, had our house painted, that harvest gold. And my friends used to joke that it looked like something in a baby's diaper. <laughs> so anyway, but it looked, you know, good at the time. It was popular at the time. Anyway, so I'm going to enjoy going through this with you. Um, before we get started, I want to do a quick what I'm listening to or what I'm watching because um, I get asked that a lot and there are so many channels I watch and I can't even watch all my favorites on YouTube. I have my standards for nighttime who, people who knock me out, you know, just it's like taking a sleeping pill. I don't get 10 minutes into the video and I'm asleep. So I love those people. That's, you know, Christina, um, old school ASMR sounds. Lori uh, Latte does that with me. Maria, of course. Um, and there are a couple of others that I've forgotten to mention over the months. Newer and some I've been watching for a while. Um, and they're not all ASMR. Now, I don't put on non-ASMR content in the evening or at night because I don't want to go to bed with, you know, too much stuff. I want it to just be quiet, blah, blah, blah. Just bore me to sleep. That's all I want. Just bore me to sleep. And, um, so I have, I, I kind of have a playlist of my favorites who do that. Um, let's see. So some others. Let's talk ASMR, and then I'll tell you about some non-ASMR. One of my favorites, and has been for a long time, is Peace and Serenity. And she's got a huge um, following, like 400,000 something people. And she does a lot of different kinds of ASMR. Some is great for some people and some is great for another group. I love, love, love that she does these Avon role plays as if she's like a district manager or a, you know, a supervisor teaching someone how to sell Avon or, um, doing an Avon party, and we're talking like 1940s, 1950s, 19, she does all these decades and eras, and what I love about it, it's all talk, it's all talk, and that's all I want, I don't want mouth sounds, I don't want a lot of knocking or things like that, I just want to be blah blah <laughs> to sleep, but I, so I love her Avon, her, I can't get through it, and that's a good sign. So peace, and I'll list all these in my description. Another one um, that is also ASMR, and she's new. Her name is, uh, well, the channel name is Angel on My Shoulder ASMR. Not just Angel on My Shoulder, but Angel on My Shoulder ASMR Kim. Her name is Kim. And she's just a sweet gal. Um, she contacted me through my Instagram page and started messaging me saying she wanted to start a channel and I'm always very encouraging about just do it, just do it. Don't wait to be perfect. Don't go buy a ton of expensive things. Just start making videos. You can chuck out the ones you don't like later on down the road after you've got a body of work. And the thing I like about her is she's very kind and loving and nurturing. And she's older, like me. 
So check her out. She's brand new. And why, you know, somebody asked me, you know, why would you recommend new people? Are you afraid you might lose, um, you know, viewers? It's like, heck no. You know, a rising tide lifts all boats. So more is more. If And if people like me, they're going to watch my channel regardless of others, just like I watch all of my girls, Ray Moon and Lori and Christina and everybody. I, I make my rounds. And so I like recommending and giving a hand up to someone else who's trying to make it in our community. And of course, it has to be somebody I can listen to. Um, not every ASMR artist is for everyone. There's so many different kinds of ASMR. And I'm just a talking, you know, blah, 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 blah. ASMR liker and doer. And then there's somebody I watch and they crack me up and it's a huge channel. It's the real Indian dad. And it's this gal who is an influencer and her husband is always making fun of her and she sees the humor in it and just cracks up. And her laugh makes me laugh. And the things he says, he calls her bloody. And uh, if you know this, if you've watched them, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, check them out. The Real Indian Dad. So I think those are the ones. And oh, Secret Scholar. You know, I've mentioned her before, Stephanie. Her name is Secret Scholar. She does a lot of the overhead, you know, um, looking at pages and doing things on her desk that are really um, mind-numbing for me. Wonderful and educational as well. Sometimes when I watch her, because she's a professor, um, I feel like when I fall asleep, I feel like I'm missing out on an assignment. And it's like, oh darn, I, I fell asleep during the assignment. So, but that's the goal. So anyway, those are some of the recommendations I have right now. Okay, so we're going to get started on this Women's Day. Woman's Day, not women. Woman. Woman's Day and show you some of the fashion, the home fashion, the food, <laughs> the, uh, the ads, and some of the articles, and give you my thoughts as always. And you know, some of them are quite snarky. So, thank you for being here, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the Women's Day, May of 1974, 30 cents. And I have to be really careful because the spine is giving out in, on the inside of this. Now, I have to mention something because I hear this almost every video from somebody. <laughs> my thumbs, okay? I know my thumbs go way back and sometimes <laughs> I know it's a freaky thing. I know, but they just do. They're double jointed, okay? I think 30% of the population can do this. Lori Latte is one of them. She's got freaky thumbs like me. So, she's my sister. <laughs> so, I'll try not to be freaky with my thumbs. You don't need to tell me. They're not broken. They just sometimes go back.
So the first thing, ooh, this is frosting. Frosting, ready to spread frostings in a can. Those were starting to become super popular, the Betty Crocker, and super, super sweet, super sweet, um, but good, you know, they worked. Okay, Excedrin, Excedrin, maximum strength, aspirin, pain reliever. Oh, this spine is really going. in from readers, things about block parties they had, or previewing colleges for their kids. Okay, let an easy does it place and press floor decorate it for you. Now, let me tell you about these. We've, I remember people putting these on over their own, like linoleum or whatever, and look, they make it seem so easy for her to do. And, I mean, look at this. It's just perfectly square, not a problem. But you would always see these things, you know, that like cracks and they'd slide and they ended up looking so bad, so bad. No longevity to them. Ooh, before the... Uh, Aquarium tanks became a big thing in the 70s. Um, so it talks about where to put it, what kind of tank. But tanks, fish tanks, were very uh, big in the 70s. Oh, and this furniture. Look at this furniture. That, and, and look at the wallpaper. Look at that wallpaper. Very rekindles the spirit of 76 with Thomasville furniture. Our mat uh, four of our mattresses in the guest beds are Thomasville, so that's an old company. Okay, so this is May 74, but this is talking about rekindling the spirit of 76. Interesting. Oh, okay, take a 10-gallon camping trip. Now, in the mid-70s, we had a gasoline fuel shortage. Um, you used to have to line up for gas, and so this is doing a 10-gallon weekend or vacation getaway and not spending a lot of gas, uh, money on gas. So, anyway, interesting. I forgot about that. And then in 70, I remember in was it 77 or 78, I think it was 78, when they had even and odd days for buying gas. So if your license plate ended in a an even number you got, you were able to buy gas on these particular days. And if it ended in an odd number, you got the other um, <laughs> days to buy gas. And the lines would be so long. And sometimes you would run out of gas while waiting in line. So I had a boyfriend at the time, and he had a license plate, um, an extra one that he got, I don't know, at a junkyard or something, and he would swap it out so he could get gas on any day. So, wet ones. Ah, interesting. Moist towelettes for the bathroom. That was new. You didn't see these uh, before the 70s, I don't think. So. Oh, these lace heirloom dresses. Oh my goodness. Look at that. How pretty. They almost look like macrame, uh, but they're crocheted or knit. We've seen this ad before, the Coty um, Sweet Earth Fragrances. They really, oh my gosh, I can still think about the memories from this time and these smells. It's really weird. It brings back some interesting memories for me. Hmm. Who 
said my doll is just for teenagers? Here's an older-ish woman, more mature, because of her cramps. She needs my doll. Body all. I don't remember this. Underarm spray. I do not remember body all. I wonder how long it lasted. Okay, tied. Should a woman use Tide just because Speed Queen packed a coupon for a free box in her new washer? Wow. Okay. It's 3.10 in the afternoon, but you feel like it's 10.30 at night. There you are in the beautiful uh, middle of a beautiful afternoon, but you feel as though you're dragging. And so what you need is Vivarin or Viverin. It's a gentle pick-me-up. It's like two cups of coffee squeezed into one easily tablet, easy tablet. In other words, it's speed. <laughs> Caffeine, okay. Uh, it says safe and not habit forming. Hmm. That was popular. Yes. This is a, a you know a pretty gal. The thin eyebrows going on of the seventies, but uh, you know nothing too drastic about her look. Okay, laxatives. <laughs> Emma Road by Cody, we've seen that. Money facts, dental stuff, insurance, group insurance, legal insurance. Oh my goodness. Congolium, Congolium, and it was this vinyl flooring. Oh my goodness, look at this, it looks like a jungle. Wow, very shiny. And then the deep emerald greens, the velour or that very plush velvety type sofa. We had one in gold. And you, we, ours was very long, and you would see butt marks, you know, from the wear. Ethan Allen, that's a good brand, still is, I think. Bug spray, okay. Motor oil. Winsong perfume, douches, oh my goodness. The myth of happily ever after. And the question is, what I want to know is why nobody told us what a marriage is really like or having children, um, trying to make ends meet. So, interesting. Lingerie. Okay, the thing about this anti-cling crepe, um, this pajam this, these pajamas and lingerie is, I don't think, it's made from DuPont. DuPont, like Teflon. This stuff doesn't breathe. Yeah, it's slinky, but it doesn't breathe. Like a nice cotton nightgown or cotton pajamas. Cutex. Nail polish. Okay, salad dressings. I think 
the late 60s and early 70s was when that Italian, that zesty Italian dressing really became popular. This electric orange <laughs> French dressing. I'll tell you something, I've been to France a lot and I've never seen a dressing like this there. <laughs> okay, cooking, marinating chicken. Wow, look at this blender. Hamilt Hamilton Beach. Nice avocado green. Oh wow, food for life. I wonder if I can still enter this. Wow. Deodorant. Okay, instead of hamburger, make Armour Vienna sausages, the meat in your meals. So beans and these little sausages. Saying no, learning to say no. The one thing about the 70s, they're starting to explore empowerment, I think. Um, you know, the 60s as well, you know, there were a lot of protests starting, you know, and um, a lot of new freedoms, so to speak. But the 70s, I think, was con building on that and continuing on that. Oh, look at, look at this. Oh my gosh. She's really cute. Um, Sears, pants that fit. Perma-pressed fabric of polyester double knit. Nothing says the 70s more, more than the polyester double knit. Oh my goodness. And Corel. Wow, Corel. This stuff was great because you could drop it and it didn't break. We had Corel and it's so skinny and it would fit into a cupboard nicely. These shoes. Long distance. Hmm, interesting. It's about a Phone, you know, the long distance phone. Now, when we made phone calls, we had time of day. You didn't make long distance calls. They were expensive, really, really expensive. So you planned them after, I don't know what time it was, after 8 p.m., I don't remember. The Nibbler versus the Gobbler Chuck Wagon. Wow, more grasshoppers. Look at these. Oh, they're so cute. Kids grasshoppers. How to stop worrying so much. Wow. Because that could be written for today. Now this is for cool filter cigarettes. Look at this, all in green. Very earthy while you suck in cigarette smoke through these menthol um, tips. What do you call those filters? Wah. Barbecuing. America's Whiskey Seagram 7. See, you wouldn't see something like this in the 17 magazine. Oh God, La Choy Swings American with Colonial Chicken Bowl. 
they were trying to sell this off as Chinese food and it was awful. My mom, I remember her trying a few of these La Choy canned Chinese food things and they were gross. I mean, it looked like and probably tasted like dog vomit. It was awful. I hated that. Okay, money saving recipes. Spring value days at True Value. Okay, so we've got Corel, brooms, pots and pans. Oh gosh. These rotisserie cookers <laughs> became very popular. Oh gosh. And the thing is we had one and it would turn and cook meat and it would fall on this element in here and smoke and it would smoke up the house and it just dripped fat and smoked up the house. Oh. Color, 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 cover girl. That's a 1974. Thin eyebrows, long eyelashes. Oh, talking, so this is May, so talking about Mother's Day, a story about kind of acknowledging the moms. Okay, and this is the fourth part of Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy's story um, called Times to Remember. So, interesting. So she's talking about, I think, her daughters-in-law, Joan Kennedy, and of course, Jackie Kennedy, who became Jackie Onassis. All the Kennedys at Hyannis Port. Sewing again, sewing. We used to make halter tops. Halter tops were very, very 70s. Very 70s. I couldn't wear a halter top now. Oh, holy lord, no. But that was a very good 70s look. And these are also yourself, you know, make your own. Wow, look at all this block color. None of these are too difficult to make. Wow, look at that caftan. I'd say that's a big no. Oh, you know who that is? Oh, what's her name? She was super popular in the early 80s. What is her name? is Beverly Johnson. She became a, like, look at, she became a supermodel in the 80s. Oh my gosh, this is the 70s. Oh my good, decorator's choice, wow. Holy moly. I remember there used to be those, I can't remember, what was it, rent to own? There were these <laughs> um, stores you could go to and pick everything out and you could do a monthly, and maybe they still have them, these monthly payment plans on this entire set of stuff. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is the 70s, guys. The Seventeen magazine was awesome, but this, you know, for the homemaker, this is what the 70s looked like in many, many homes. Yep, and these frilly curtain sets. Wow. Oh, the spine is coming undone. Oh, look at this. 
magazine has had it. Oh well. Okay, so look at this fashion. Look at this suit here. It's a knit. Um, looks like a triple knit, honest to God. Not even a double knit. <laughs> oh, now, that is cute. I would wear that today. I love polka dots, and I love a nice argyle plaid, too. I really do. But that is cute. I would so... Oh, look at all these polka dots. That's cute. I do like my polka dots a lot. Oh. Okay, crocheting. I used to crochet a lot. I'll get that straight for you. I used to crochet a lot, not anymore. And so a magazine like this was really nice in learning these new, you know, new stitches for yourself. Okay, how to put on blush according to your face coloring and bone contour. Interesting. A pretty wash of color is delightfully flattering to an older face. <laughs> so you put it all over. Oh my goodness. And here's an alternative just a little bit, you think? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, so this is contouring. This is where contouring started. Okay, lunches, springtime lunches and suppers. Mmm, luscious cheesecakes and pies. That looks good. It's an almond cheesecake. Hmm. Somebody cut something out here. I don't know what this is. A recipe, maybe? Toys for a kid. Frozen foods became super popular in the 70s. Hmm. So what they're doing is taking a tired polyester pantsuit and instead of throwing it away or whatever, turning it into something else. Hmm. Okay. Viceroy cigarettes. Okay, so ways to save money. What? Roll it up and make children's furniture. Newspaper from newspapers. Wrap it around dowels, paint it, and make children's furniture. Now, this is the epitome also of the 70s, these curtain sets, but then also the 50s and 60s, you know? These were real popular. Oh, a shawl. Oh my goodness, shawls. And these big, bold, bangly, colorful pieces of jewelry. You know, I like this magazine because this is 1974 and unlike the 17 magazines we look at, they didn't start showing diversity in, you know, um, the women until much later and here we are seeing a lot of diversity and I like that. This is, you know, the plastic things that hold six packs? So you string them all together and paint them and make wall art. That's kind of cool. And here's how you make all those things. Interesting. Bird feeder, trivets.
how to make that um, the children's furniture. Taking those plastic rings and turning them into um, art, wall art, the Casbah Kasba curtain. Okay. Okay, now look at this. Is that just the coolest? Oh my gosh. It gives you hot water for instant coffee, tea, soup, or cocoa. And so it's for hot drinks. It's not a coffee maker. It's just for hot water. And it holds up to 10 ounces of tap water. What happened to the kettle? All this to replace a kettle? Wow. Okay, you've come a long way, baby, Virginia Slims. Cleaning products, ivory, that's what we used. That's what we used. And of course, okay, so they're comparing Purex to Clorex. Sweetheart lime to ivory, interesting. They're saying these are the same, but this is less expensive. And Brillo versus the SOS, the steel wool pads. So it's all about saving money. Okay. Oh, the vacuums. Before vac. Okay, so after vacuuming with Sears regular rug attachment, and after vacuuming with the rug attachment. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this cat food. Kidney in creamed gravy. Wow. And an eight cent off any four cans. A lot of pain relievers I'm noticing. Hmm. Raleigh cigarettes. Satisfying tobacco taste. Okay. A percolator. I've read besides French press coffee, that percolator coffee is some of the best coffee. Are there any real true coffee connoisseurs who make coffee that could tell me if that's in fact true? I love French press coffee. Um, but, you know, I, I thought about getting a percolator just to try it, but they're, they're expensive. And so this ad was for these, uh, the perfect blend. You put this pod into the, you know, into the filter. Hmm. Interesting. Tender vittles. Oh my goodness. Trying to make your cat happy. Newport cigarettes. Again, menthol kings. Baked beans. Cheeses, craft cheeses. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at this. Carpet in the bathroom. Now, growing up, we never had carpet in our bathrooms. We had linoleum, but they had the Something like this, you would have a tank set with the toilet seat cover. Oh my god. Something else cut out here. Okay, this furniture, Bassett furniture. Very, very 70s, all these styles. Yeah, that fake wood it wasn't even real wood. It was like that press board, you know. Frozen vegetables. 
safflower oil, high in polyunsaturates. They used to have Wesson uh, commercials where, what was her name, Florence Henderson, the mom from the Brady Bunch. She, after the Brady Bunch, that was one of her big gigs was the Wesson oil and they would be frying chicken and then the power goes out or something and it's turned off and half an hour later and then they start it up and cook it again and they show how much oil they recover from the chicken. That was a very popular commercial. More cat food. <laughs> More cigarettes. Interesting. So pet food, cigarettes, and pain relievers are, are the biggest ads that I'm seeing. Ah, oh, yes. Popcorn makers became popular. And these fry pans, because they're big, you know, and you could do a lot with them. And of course, the crock pot, slow cooker, not really a crock pot, slow cooker, those became really popular. Money-saving menus for May. Lemon bars. Betty Crocker boxes. Oh, these bedspreads. Works of art from Italy. More dog food. Doggy donuts. I'll bet this has not changed much. How to save money using your freezer. Hmm. That's good. The different kinds of freezers, chest freezers upright, or refrigerator freezer combinations, freezing do's and don'ts, and how to wrap. Interesting. See, we didn't have those Ziploc bags, so we had, we wrapped things, um, you know, in plastic and foil. Hmm, interesting. Okay, three grown-up reasons to buy Kool-Aid. You're getting something your whole family will enjoy. It saves money because it costs less than soda and it's got vitamin C. Wow. It's got a whole ton of sugar, but hey, it's got vitamin C. Now, I have to admit, I loved Kool-Aid. We didn't get it very often, but I loved Kool-Aid. This looks exactly the same today. Wow. These canned um, deviled ham, corned beef, you know, this. I was just looking at those the other day in the grocery store. Ben Gay Gel. Again, pain management, cigarettes, and pet food are the main ads here. Okay, well, here's what I like about this Tampax ad. We've got women of color, and they're in a science-oriented field, not just homemaking. I really like that. This is 1974. More cigarettes and more coffee. Yeah, the drip coffee makers, those became super popular. It, we went from percolators to um, the drip coffee. So I, hmm, interesting. Boys. Okay, look at this. 
Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at that color. Harvest gold or whatever they called this. They don't say what it is, but... I miss these. These were the best nylons. These legs, they came in these. I don't know if you remember them, that you would see them in their own stand. They're at the end of, um, at the aisle in the grocery store and you could buy your legs pantyhose. They had, they had sheer support. They had tummy control. They had, oh, every color. I loved them. One of my first jobs, I think it was like my third job, one, two, three, yeah, was at, I was a waitress at Denny's and we had to wear nylons and we wore, you know, dresses and nylons and I always wore the legs because they had good support and they didn't snag easily. Foil, how to cook with foil. Nice. And freeze with foil. More dog food. And more cigarettes. <laughs> Ooh, parquet margarine. Oh, margarine was taking this huge leap in popularity. And then they had this pour on. You could pour, uh, pour on this margarine, and I, we tried it, but it was awful, 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 gross, disgusting. So they had the parquet in the tub, they had it like a, you know, in the cubes, and then the pour on kind. Oh God, that was so gross. We we didn't buy into margarine, and we still don't. I like good French butter, as you know. So margarine just doesn't cut it. Never did. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Very, very 70s. Tupperware. Mm. Yep. Sewing. Okay, so here's a sewing machine, Singer, and Butterick Patterns, which they still have even today. Norelco. Electric drip coffee, drip filter. Seeing all this coffee is making me want a cup. Libby Glass. Rice so roni, the San Francisco treat. Okay, the laundry room that fits in the kitchen. So, huh, interesting. So it's a washer and dryer. 21 inches wide, stacked. It's loud. It looks like this got wet. Lady Grecian formula. <laughs> Spray and wash for clothes stains. Pick six for a dollar. We had this. Wow, we sure had that. Hmm. Country style pop crust. Now little girls can make dreams that won't come apart at the seams. So magic. She can make all her doll dresses, her own things, her curtains. 
very 70s. Diet Right Cola. A good pair of shears for polyester so you'll never slip on synthetic fabrics again. Wow. A girdle. Subtract the dieter's foundation that loses inches as you do. So there's good news and bad news when you're dieting. The good news is the way you look and feel after you've lost a few pounds. And the bad news is the way your foundation fits while you're dieting and after you've gone down. So that's why you should know about this. It expands and contracts. It's got memory stretch. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is meditation, really? Mm, the Self-Realization Fellowship in L.A. Please send me a free copy of your booklet, The Supreme Goal of Man. Hmm. Also, Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. The Quick Cure for the Common Tile. Putting on these stickers. <laughs> Anti-static, anti-cling, antron, crepe nylon. Okay. So here's another ad for antron, and it's made by DuPont. So basically, plastic clothing. Look at Barbara Walters. That's Barbara Walters. Oh, how to get a big bust? Mark Eden. And just all the little things to buy. the diet ads. I lost, in seven days I lost three inches and seven pounds. Has nothing to do with posture at all. <laughs> oh, good grief. All the things for sale. Okay, um, medical and health encyclopedia. Interesting. We all had encyclopedias. I think everybody had an encyclopedia set to look stuff up. We didn't have Google. And if you had a project, a study project at school. You had to use the library and, you know, those card catalog files and you'd have to look up, you know, and pull out these cards on Electrosol for the dishwasher. Oh, now, Madge. This was Madge. And she used to do manicures and she would soak your hands in palm olive. That's how gentle it was. So, it softens hands while you do dishes. Well, there you have it. Well, what did you think? 
What are your highlights? I'd like to know. Besides my super bendy thumbs. People point that out to me like I don't know. I think for me, it's the colors. All the crazy, you know, the colors we talked about. That just is, that personifies the 70s more than anything else. And I think almost more than any other decade. Um, I'm trying to think if you could pull out colors from the 80s or the 60s or the 90s. I know there was a neon craze for a while, but these colors in here, they're just that strong. I hear a cat <laughs> trying to break in. Anyway, I appreciate you. I appreciate all my long-time subscribers and supporters, and I appreciate all you new ones. I'm so glad you're here. You've let me know, hey, I just found you, and I'm so glad. Well, I'm glad, and this is an amazing community, as you'll see. There are some fantastic people in this wonderful ASMR community. So welcome to you. And I'm going to sign off for now and wish you so much wellness, so much peace, so much happiness and patience. Gosh, I've needed that so much lately. Oh my gosh, I've needed so much. And most of all, so much love. Bye for now. See you in the next video. I get a visitor. <laughs> it's Apollo again. He's been enjoying it in here. Our dear friend and subscriber, Olivia, made this amazing um, table topper for me. And now it's got cat fur all over it. He's just so handsome. He's so handsome. So Apollo likes to sneak in here and sleep and get cat hair everywhere. So I'm gonna try and work around him because he's such a lover. He's not a fighter, he's a lover. Go ahead, you go over there. Go ahead, it's okay. Go ahead. Leo, I mean, Paolo, no, no, 